Okay, so this is Blade of Grass. Quite obviously, they came up with the title first. <laughs> you know, like, somebody was just like, you know, the first time I heard Blade of Grass, I thought it was like a real blade, like a sword, and they're like, let's make an episode on that! <laughs> so that's, that's my thought. Because that's what I thought when I was a kid. I tried to slice people with grass, it didn't work. Except once. Actually, no, I, I did that when I was a kid. Did you? To like grasses, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, another, uh, what I actually used to do, uh, G.I. Joe's. You had them fight grass? No, put the grass in their hand like it was a sword. Because G.I. Joe's didn't have swords! Except for, like, two of them. And, what, the ninjas had the... Swords? Yeah, that was Did about it! Okay. And I never had them. Yeah. I wasn't cool enough to have Snake Eyes or Storm Shadow. Yeah, well, let, let, let's keep focus on the subject at hand, the very important, serious subject at hand. Uh, Finn has a grass sword uh, that's actually kind of cool. Um, <laughs> where his old sword... What were they fighting at the beginning? I totally missed what they were fighting. I don't, I don't... Did they ever say what those were? I don't think so. They were fighting on top of slides. I, I saw that, and then, like, these... I don't know what they were, Michael Madsen zombies <laughs> or something, just trying to climb up and get them. Michael uh, Madsen, Tom Sizemore? Something like that, yeah. But his, bottom line, his sword is not working very well against the Michael Madsen zombies. And <laughs> so he said, you need a new sword. So they're going to go to Choose Goose, but then they decide to go to someone else, which at first annoyed me, but he comes back, so it's okay. Um, and they go, and he gives them this... Uh, this Blade made of grass. It's literally a sword made out of grass, and it seems too perfect to be true. It slices apples too perfectly. Um, it's it, cursed! <laughs> yes. Uh, it cuts things up in Finn's face and stuff like that, but it's uh, getting a little too clingy, literally. It will cling to his hand and not let go, and he tries to get rid of it, but it finds its way back. Uh, so then they go to Choose Goose to tell him how to, uh, get rid of it. He tells him where the guy is. He goes, they try to defeat him. But he's like, you can't get it off your hand. It's stuck there forever. He's like, oh, okay, actually, it's kind of cool. And when he thinks it's cool, it, it is cool. And they seem to live happily ever after. Or at least by the end of this episode. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I guess he now has a grass sword always on his hand. Um... That's kind of cool. Like, I'm down with it. It's, it's a cool... I think it's a cool invention. I think the... I, I know what... Like, this can't be the first thing to have, like, a sword that's, like, attached to you or, like, whatever comes out of your wrist. Or, you know, there's got to be other... Schnicket? From... I don't know what that is. Wolverine? Schnicket? Oh, wait. It, no, it's... That's what it is. Oh, you it should read be. the comic book. No, no, no. I know it said Snicket. But the sound is pushing because when the cartoon came out, it sounded so much better, and they used that sound in the movies as well. And nobody's gonna be, be, look out! It's Wolverine. Snicket. No, it's <laughs> pushing. That's what sounds cool. Yeah, except for the fact that you have like this. Never. I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> movies. He really likes X Men to a fault. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's an example of kind of. Yeah, but, but exactly. Attached. Yeah, so I, it's not like you know the first time somebody's done that. But I like the Ice idea. Man, technically. Uh, yeah, that's true. You can make the role. Yeah, even Psylocke and stuff. Um, oh, kind Psylocke, of the mental, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I like the idea of just like, it's, um, oh, what's the, from Soul Calibur 2, what's her name? Ivy, like she has a whip that's like a sword, but then it can also become like a, wh a whip too. And it's like, I love those things where it's like, it's like the most deadly thing and then it can just be like, you know, like just like fabric or something. Like and a I, penis. I, I wasn't going to go there, but I guess it had to. Yeah, it's like a penis. and then it's solid. Yeah. Limp and then it's solid. One minute it's deadly, and the next minute it's pathetic. You yeah. Know, that's just the way it is. Um, but, men, but yeah, so, so I like his grass penis sword. <laughs> you know, and everyone always says I make too many penis jokes, but this time you forced me to go that direction. I was trying to be a good boy, but you forced me down that road. So, okay. yeah, now we have his grass penis sword, and it's awesome. I like grass penis sword. I like the grass sword. I think it's really neat. Therefore, you like the grass penis sword. No, it doesn't remind me no, of a penis at all. No, no. Uh, it reminds but, me of a blade of grass. Or a ninja sword. So, Actually, no, not really a ninja sword. It would be more like a samurai sword. I mean, yes, the length isn't proper, but it definitely reminds me more of that. So, when you said penis, it reminds you of penis, you were referring to, like, the letter P, the essence of the letter P. So, penis. Is that the penis you were talking about with that? No, I just wanted to get you started talking about penis. I knew you'd just kind of keep going with it, so I had to start it, and then I was done. 
Well done. Um, so it's, it's a cute episode. It seems like an episode totally there just to welcome this sword, you know, onto yeah. his wrist. I, I like the idea that it's always on his wrist. I'm sure by some episode it'll come off or whatever, but it's like, I, I just like the idea that Which it's just it always on. on. Uh, the one that's the robot arm usually, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's <laughs> left or right. I'm just saying it's probably the one that's usually gone, right? That's a, that's a, the right. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's me going. Ah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm trying to this this whole you. vlog is nothing but like sound effects. Like, <laughs> like the whole. <laughs> yeah. Next one just gonna be like. <laughs> like there you go. That's a vlog. Um, Actually, we need a gif of that. <laughs> you doing a whole lot. <laughs> it'll happen. I'm sure it'll happen. Sweet. Um. So. Yeah, I mean, it was it's the one thing that was, I don't know if it's, like, if I thought it was really funny or it's, like, kind of a major complaint, is that Chuskus was not very animated, like, <laughs> at all. But he's always so animated that in this one, when he just, like, barely moves, like, yeah, I think one point his leg just goes, go that way! Like, that, <laughs> like, and his arm will just go like this. I mean, it was so not animated that I was like, it was kind of funny, because we're so used to seeing him, you know, so energized and lively. Um, so, I liked, I, I think the, along with that, actually, I don't know, did you notice there's one or two times where the animation actually did seem a touch choppy? Did you notice that? Not offhand, no. Okay, there, there's one to like, when they're running, you know, and usually the motion is very fluent and stuff, you know, and it's it's not a major complaint, because it's, like, with animated shows, especially growing up in the 80s, we saw a lot of that, yeah. you know, so it's, like, not a major complaint. But, yeah, there were one or two times where it looked like, just when they're running, just a little choppy, like, one or two that frames. That could have been also skipped. my copy, though. Maybe. Honestly, it it, it like, could be. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah. I, I can't blame the show for stuff like that with them not being officially released yet, mm. so... Yeah, good point. And honestly, even if it was, like... Like I said, we grew up with cartoons in the 80s where, like, half the Ninja Turtles masks were never right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, no, rewatch Transformers. <laughs> There's a million Oh, percent. my God. And I love that show. My favorite show growing up, but uh, terrible now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, just a lot of them, like, anyone that complains about shows now is like, no, go, go back to some of the ones we grew up with. I mean, I like, we still love them, but they're... They're pretty stupid. <laughs> we can admit they're terrible now. Yeah, I mean, well, we can we can come out and say that, but they're uh, I mean, they're entertaining as hell, but they're pretty dumb. I wouldn't even say they're entertaining as hell. Honestly, rewatch some of them. They're not that entertaining. <laughs> Have you seen the He-Man Shiva Christmas special? Yeah. It's incredible. Have you seen Attack of the 50-foot Irma? Yes. <laughs> exactly my point. Love that episode. Oh, love it. <laughs> She's got the giant red glasses. <laughs> I, I love it. Okay. Well, so yeah, I mean, I, I liked it. I thought it was fine. Uh, what did you think of it? No, I thought it was great. Um, I like... A lot of times he has his sword and everything, and it's just kind of there. This one is, like, a lot more interactive, and I really like that. And I love anytime he, like, cuts stuff, especially when he's up against the Candle Gang. Yes, that the was great. The candles and the guy with the tattoo. I love. Candles. I want to see someone like in real life that has that can that tattoo. Like even without seeing the show, <laughs> like he has that tattoo. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> and whenever he cuts anything, it's in his image and all that stuff. And I just love the sound effect. And it's very you know, not to sound racist. It's Asian, in the sense of samurai ninja stuff like that, where he moves and he's just like. Like, it's just it, very... It, it's very light, very precise. It's, yes, very fluid motion. It's not, you know, like medieval times where it's like... Or anything like that. It's very... It's very... Scare snicket. Not... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not, it's not American. Okay, fair enough. Um, um, and I love that. I think that's really cool. Like, when he jumps over the guys, his, his arm barely moves. Mm. And you get... And then all the hair falls off. I love that. I think that's just really freaking cool. I like when he first does the, uh, whatever, the, the, the slicing, tag. the tag, whatever. Yeah. And it's like it's so precise that you even see the little dots for the eyes fall out, yeah. too. <laughs> like, he actually carved the little circle on each one. It was so sharp that they fell out. And again, it was just... Um, I love that. I think that's cool. I love when uh, he's going up against all the giant grass monsters. I shouldn't say giants. All the grass monsters. And there's a big one. And it's coming down and just goes... Sorry. Bing! And the sword goes into the fan. Yeah. I love that. I think that's cool. It's it's one of the most useful swords that he's ever had. 
And it's just really cool. Well, and what I realized, too, that it's like, I mean, it's been going on throughout the whole show, but for whatever reason, I never really thought about it, is that, you know, the swords do change, and they all sort of have their own identity, mm -hmm. which I like. And I think there's something cool about the fact it's very, it's kind of comic bookish, but in a good way, that, like, you know, whatever, a character can get a new costume or something or whatever, a new power or something, and it's like, it'll be with them for a while until, and they'll decide whether or not they want to keep it or get a new one. I mean, they'll probably get a new one down the line, because that's part of just how it works, you know, but, uh, but I kind of like that, where most shows, again, when we were growing up with, with shows, it's like there had to be this formula. And it wasn't just kids shows, it was sitcoms, it was uh, uh, dramas and stuff like that, where there had to be this status quo they always had to come back to, it's this formula. And, I don't know, it's a cool time now where it's like, I mean, some shows still have it, but it's very much, uh, let's change it. Who says we can't change it up? Yeah. Um, and and movies are doing that now, too. You know, it's like with a lot of these superheroes and stuff. There's a, well, you have to do this in the formula. You have to have them discovering this. You have to have this happen. And it's like, particularly with the Marvel movies, it's like, no, you don't have to. Let's... You know, Iron Man has to have a secret identity. End of the movie, he's like, I'm Iron Man. And just, like, throughout the rest of the movies, everybody knows. You know, that's it's... the comic book, though. Oh, well, th th then they'll make it more like comics, which is good. <laughs> this is the good parts of the comics. Um, so, no, I, I like that. And I like, uh... yeah, there's something cool knowing it's like, you know what, they're going to have this new sword for a while, and I'm sure they'll get a new one later, but it's like, eh, it's like, I want to see what he can do with this one now. It's cool that it's attached to him. It's like, you know... I don't know. It's it's cool. <laughs> Anything I, else? No, I, I really I actually I love the salesman. Uh uh no returns. Oh, yes. No returns. I, I, no I, take backs. I, that's it. I loved that. Uh No, I don't know. I just think it was a fun little episode. Um there's something I swear I'm forgetting, but it's gonna kill me in the end. Yeah, whatever. I like it. <laughs> 